I, I don't even I don't even know what to say about this. Believe it or not, this is a real thing, and uh, I I kind of like it. For those of you who've been playing Phantom Forces for quite some time, you'll know that there's kind of like a bit of a quest to find the ultimate no recoil setup. I for anybody who's like a normal player at least. And sometimes whenever I live stream, people recommend me things to use, and um yeah, this was one of those things. Chainsaw grip. Mm. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? No. Yeah, so uh, for some reason this this works, I don't know either. So let's just analyze this real quick, right? So as a base, we've got the M231, which is your like insanely high recoil gun that's supposed to be a meme, but is actually pretty decent. However, we've stuffed on an AMT Terminator just because we can't aim anyway, because we've got a chainsaw grip, so why not have an extra laser? We've got a Halbeck device for negative recoil. Like I said, chainsaw grip, we've also got a tri-laser just to have extra lasers and an MA55 conversion, which basically gives you a hundred rounds of pure rage and also insane CQC damage. And to combine all those things together, we get what is pretty much just a chainsaw or a minigun or a whatever you want to call this. And uh, it's kind of functional. I did a video, I, I remember like two years ago or something about them like adding a minigun to Phantom Forces and it was just a way of like cramming the MG3 down into like this little hip fire package. But honestly, I, I think that we've topped it. I, I think that this is a, <laughs> I think that we've found the setup. As you can see, it's, it's something. Bro was not going to escape that corner. So pretty much as you can see, like I said, this is a sort of a uh, minigun, if you will. You can't aim with it because of the chainsaw grip. You just hold left click and uh, away you go. The recoil, honestly, leaves not too much to be desired. It's just functional. At range, obviously, you're gonna have a little bit of issue hitting your shots, but the fact that you have a hundred rounds to work with and your reload time is pretty quick, all things considered, your actual like damage output on a target pretty much anywhere on the map is going to be insane. If I could just find somebody, oh, there we go, hi. Melt. Got the homie chilling right here. He's hanging out. He's gone now. He went. He he went away. But his friends, they uh, they're also gonna go away too. It's literally just a matter of holding mouse one, and you ju you just win. What is this? I am. <laughs> Woo, I, I'm something, dude. I don't think that I really have, like, the vocabulary to be able to describe how I feel whenever I'm using this gun. And that is definitely because it is a mixture of, like, hatred and uh, something else that I, I can't quite describe. But the cool part is that it's very hard to stop you whenever you're using this. There's no limitation of, like, you know, you having to aim down sights or whatever. There's no limitation of you having to, like, aim down sights or anything like that. No, no, no. Who would ever? Because you just, you just don't need to. Look at that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There's a kill. Yeah, you, you just left click. It's it's all you gotta do. There's nothing else that you have to do besides hold left click. It is just that simple. Oh, uh, there's a red dot. Oh, saw somebody. Uh oh, left click. Another little man. Left click, left click. You're dead. I don't think that I've seen anything ever in this game that is is this ridiculous. I've just I've never seen something like this because frankly, there just there is no words. It's some someone's gotta stop this thing, man. I mean, this is the only man that's been able to kill me this game so far, I think. But what if we take this to a longer range map? Something like, um, maybe Metro. <laughs> Look, I'm moving. I'm literally WASD, WASD. I can just move. Oh, no, I gotta reload first. I have no ammo left. Where'd they all go? I need ammo. No one's got ammo for me. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, literally, I can just move. I can... <laughs> Why is this possible? Who, who, who did this? I'm literally outgunning AA-12s from like relatively close range. The fact that I can do that is is beyond silly. It might even be approaching goofy territory. <laughs> oh God. Now comes the fun part, finding people. Oh, that didn't take very long. Yep, uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about this. It works. It works. It typically, whenever I see the chainsaw grip, I just immediately disregard anything, especially when I'm streaming and people are telling me to use like different setups and stuff. But this time, it's it's different. It it works the way that it's intended to. However, there is quite a little bit of a different way to actually use this, and that is because the chainsaw grip in the test place, of course, the test place, got a big buff where apparently you're actually able to like aim with it. And it actually helps with recoil and stuff. So let, let's go try that. Let's go see what it's like. Okay, so let's double check. Yep, chainsaw grip right there. Real man hip fire, and this grip aims to supply that fantasy by removing the ability to properly aim down sats. Yep, you can actually aim now. So this kind of has the functionality now of like the sideways grip, I guess. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it seems to me that the setup no longer works in the test place. Let's uh, let's mess around with it a little bit. <laughs> What was that? Okay, let's let's just try changing. Okay, let's just try changing from Halbeck device to compensator. How about that? What'll that do? Okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay, I'm scared. So let's try, uh, let's try X-Ring maybe? Okay, okay, I, I see what's going on here. So basically what it's doing is, obviously there's going to be a difference between aiming down sights and hip fire, especially whenever it comes to gripping the front of the gun. So pretty much from the hip fire, we get like the same kind of thing that we did before, maybe a little bit worse and with different attachments. However, if we aim because of the way that it's being held, it's going to make it shoot up into the left. So let's see if I go back to the Halbeck device, there it is, which they're also changing funnily enough. Yeah, hip fire is still like, okay, not that bad. But as soon as you aim like that, no, <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at there. At the very least, what you can do now is you can do like the aim thing whenever you super jump. So that way you don't have to switch to a different weapon to do that. Oh, there I go aiming again. Oh yeah, having a fantastic time. So it seems like this is mostly going to be a main game thing for the moment. Um... No, no. I mean, it's still, it still kind of works in the test place. So, you know, if and when they actually do update this, it's still... What? My gun just stopped shooting for no reason. Okay. Th thanks, game. But what I was trying to say, though, is it looks like it mo it's mostly going to be, like, a main game thing for now. Uh, <laughs> so I guess use it while you can. Enjoy it while you can. Why did bro just collapse in front of me? I guess it's interesting that they're actually going to update the chainsaw grip. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's been It's been in the game for a long time, and it's been pretty useless besides this. What? I thought I thought bro was a I thought bro was a corpse. Just because I'm curious, I want to try this out actually on something else. Let's do like um, 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 um let's try like the AKM with the chainsaw grip. How about that? Yeah, I just I, I don't really I still don't really see a reason at all to use the chainsaw grip, unless it made like hip fire absolute god tier, which it, it does not. Well, we found the only good setup. I uh, thanks to this this silly man in the. Uh, Another man just collapsed. What the heck, man? Thanks to this man, we now have a very silly setup. But yes, thanks to this man, we finally have at least a minute reason to use the chainsaw grip in this very, very specific case. I can't take credit for this, though. Obviously, like I said, he gave it to me, and I don't know where he got it from. Because uh, whoever it is, man, I mean, props to them. I, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, but it, it you know, it works. Come on, come on. It, yeah, yeah, no, you're not going anywhere. If you would use this yourself, uh, let me know below. I, I don't know why you would. You must be a madman. But, uh, you know... <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. That would be most appreciated. Leave me a comment if you have any weird things like this. Not setups. Not setups. But like, you know, video ideas, whatever. I always appreciate that. But I, j just stop with the setups, man. It's not, it's not that it's not that difficult of a request, all right? So, uh, yeah, very, uh, very goofy. Ooh. Bro, I'm going crazy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That guy just fell. <laughs> I thought it was a boulder, bro. Nah, that nah. was huge. <laughs> it was a boulder, but he was on it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. mm.